Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be talking about a free and open source program called Explorer Patcher. This program can be used to bring back familiar features on older versions of Windows, such as the Never Combined Taskbar and so many other options. Setting it up only takes few minutes. Let me show you how. Now let me show you how to download and install Explorer Patcher. So let's launch our uh, browser and let's search for Explorer Patcher and then click enter and it should be the first result on your Google search and click on this one it should be uh, from github website and you'll find the link down in the descriptions as well so once you're at this page if you scroll down to your right you'll see the latest version so click on it and it should take you to this page now if you scroll down you should see this um, ep underscore setup.exe and that's the program so click on it it should be only 1.77 megabyte click on it and it should now be downloaded to your uh, PC once it has uh, completed downloading just go to the folder where it has been downloaded and just uh, double click on the exe file and let's close the browser and um, you'll uh, you will see this uh, window just click on more info and just click on run anyway and then you'll see this one again and just click yes so now um, our explorer patcher has been successfully um, installed and by default it sets your taskbar to windows 10 taskbar now to launch the explorer patchers you have two options you could either click on windows and just click on it or you could right click on your taskbar and just select the properties and it should comes up like this Taskbar is the first section under properties and here is where we could set our taskbar uh, style. So right now it's set to Windows 11 by default. Let's click on it and change it to Windows 10. And we need to click on restart file explorer here at the bottom for this to take effect. And as you could see it has set my taskbar to Windows 10 style. And there are a number of options associated with this taskbar. So let's look at them. And then there is my um, a primary taskbar location. So if I click on this one, I could have it at the top left or right. And I have primary and secondary because I have two monitor hooked up to my uh, computer right now. If you have one monitor, then you would see one option. And I could hide or unhide my search button which is this one over here. So it's hidden now, it's unhidden now. And for my task view as well, which is this option, I could hide it or unhide it. And I could also change my start button style and I could change my uh, taskbar alignment. So those icons right now, they are centered. I could just have them left justified by the uh, start button. So let's do that. And let's just make them um, at the screen edge. And as you can see right, right now, they are left justified. And this is one of the popular um, options, which is to combine the taskbar. So right now it is always combined. I could change it to never combine. And you could see now I could see the title of each uh, window. So that's useful for browsers because you get to see which page is uh, the browser at right now. So for my Chrome browser, I'm at the web store and for my um, Edge browser, I'm at a new uh, tab. Under our system tray options, we could change a few things at the system tray over here. So let's look at a few options. Now for the sound controller, uh, for Windows 11 and Windows 10, it's not that useful. It's only this one slider that controls the sound. And let's change this to Windows 7. And let's restart our file explorer. And now you can see we have our Windows 7 style. And it is more useful because we have the mixer over here. 
and we could control each component individually and that's really useful and another thing we could change is the clock so right now if you click on the clock you would see this calendar but if we change this to windows 7 and restart you get to see the windows 7 style whereas there's one calendar over here and you get to see this clock over here and you could add multiple clocks for different regions in the world and that's really useful and continuing on we have the start menu options and we have our windows uh, switcher we have our weather widget which is on windows 11 we could disable that if we do not like to see it and there are other options that you could you could go through and play with and there are some updates option if you want to update this tool and there are some uh, even advanced options over here now if you decided to restore all the setting back to the way they were before installing this tool you could just go to uh, this option about and just click on this restore default settings and it will undo everything you changed and just click yes and yes and now everything has been restored to the way it was and that's all i wanted to show you in this video thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next video thank you